Hi, this is Kevin with Map Practical. Just a couple more tips for our Google Map here. And we drew a, a line, and we can also draw a line along the road. So with that tool, it's really simple. All you have to do is just pick a spot on the road, click to start, then go to your endpoint up here on campus, double click, and Google will pick the route. And then you'll get a little pop-up. We can name it. Now if Google picks a route that's not exactly the one you want, you can just hover over it and uh, grab and drag that route right down to where you want it to go. Pretty easy really. All right. Another thing we're doing is we're adding video to points of interest. So let's pop the satellite on here so we can see an interesting point of interest. We're going to grab our add a place mark tool and go over here to the M and just click on that guy, add a place mark. Now, thing that they didn't show you is if you go to YouTube and you find a video I just typed in Missoula M Trail and then you just want to go to this embed code field here and we're just going to control C to copy that and we're going to go back to our map and then we're going to just hit edit HTML paste that in call this thing the M and say OK pretty much that simple. Now we're going to go back to our map view here. Satellite image is eating up a lot of the memory. We're going to do save and done. And then click on our icon for the M and there's the YouTube video right there on our map. Pretty simple. It's much the same when you're going to do a picture. So we'll go back to edit. Zoom in here a little bit. We're going to grab our place mark tool and go over to the Grizz Stadium. And we're going to call this the Grizz. And what about if we change this icon to a little footballer or soccer, as they say, here in America? And if we wanted to add a picture to this, we'd have to go to the rich text and you'd click right here on the insert image. Now, the first time you do it, you might get a pop up warning, which I'm going to get rid of right now. And then I'm going to go to our image search over here in Google. And I just typed in Grizz Stadium. And uh, I like this one here, so I'll click on it. And I'm going to say see full image. It's important you do this because then you can get the URL for the image, not the website it's on. Control C to copy that guy. Go back to our map. And hit this uh, insert image one more time. We'll get a little pop up. Just paste in that code to the URL, say OK. We are automatically get a little uh, preview of it. There we go. So uh, what about if we would like to change the icon, though? We can also do that. So if you click on the icon, they have all these default icons. You can go add an icon. Let's first go find one. Uh, let's see here. Football. Now again, here in the Google image search, if you click on Show Options over here, it's going to give you a bunch more options that helps you, uh, you know, figure out what size. If you hit the icon size, then you're going to get just little footballs. So I'll grab this one here. Again, drill down and get just this little football. Go up and get its URL. Go back to our map. I'm going to go over to the add an icon pop-up. Another kind of pop-up just like the image does. Throw that URL in. Say OK and then OK on this and now we've got a football icon for our uh, stadium. I'm going to save it give it a second to save and then hit done and now when we uh, click on our little football icon we'll get a picture of Grizz Stadium. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The one last thing I could show you is that over here in the corner say you made your own new map and you wanted to share it with people you'd hit collaborate and then we get a nice pop up here in the middle of the screen as it drifts on over that it allows you to uh, invite people so you would just type in the email addresses and then you would um, decide if you want people to be able to edit the map or anyone to edit it at all you can also write a comment in you'd send OK and it would invite people to share your map okay well hope that helps uh, hope to see you back here at Map Practical